button with you in this group Yuna Kim the 16 year old from South Korea most agree she's going to be a star for the next five or six years on the world stage a short time ago Peter Carruthers caught up with her coach a world champion himself Brian Orser about what's been a, an ongoing back injury for Kim Brian what is the condition of Yuna Kim's back at this point well, as you know, Peter, it's been a month of just managing and monitoring the, the pain and trying to um, just figure out whether it's ice or any inflammatories or ibuprofen or whatever it is that we can take that can help control that. So uh, we have finally figured out something that's worked, also with a little bit of rest because this schedule has been pretty lean. So she's been forced to rest a little bit. And um, so we're just sort of down to the wire now. Today she finished the practice and said, uh, I had no pain today. So, you know, here it is, you know, the day of the short program, and we finally got it managed, and so that's, uh, that's a great sign. Right down to the last minute. You know it. Thank you. Brian Orser, a world champ back in 1987. You remember that well? Well, it's a bulging disc for Yuna Kim that they've been working on and uh, treated it with some herbal therapy. Spent a day in the hospital before she came here. But good news, I guess, for her, it is getting better now as we approach the actual moment of her taking the ice. How about oh, Kimmy looks... Meisner, guys? What, what about her and coming in? The Grand Prix final champ, the 2006 World Junior champ. 16 years of age, did not go to the Olympics last year, was not old enough yet, or the world. Here she is, Yuna Kim. We'll see. Brian Orser talked to Peter Carruthers. We heard that a short time ago about the back, and we'll see if it's okay here in the short. A very expressive skater. Just beautiful style. For 16, this mm -hmm. is one sophisticated young lady. And she's opening also with a triple-triple, triple-flip. Triple toe. Look at the speed. Nice oh, lift. Oh, oh. Ah. Wonderful height. Glamour. Oh my heavens sakes. Very alive. soft. Very tight turns in the air. Now here's her spiral. So that is not a great stretch. This is better. My least favorite position. But beautiful flying back sit. Great position in the sit spin. Look at the smile on her face. Well, she really comes alive in the competition when we watch her in practice. She was very quiet looking, no emotion at all. This is a straight line footwork that has a level three. Remember, no woman has gotten a level four. Men do frequently because I think they attack more and use more physical and more athletic moves. But this very high level three. Very stylized to the music. Not the best leg position. From a back inside spiral, I mean spread eagle, she stepped up into that double axle. That's a difficult entrance. And the smiling combination spin. She's thrilled with that performance. It was a great program for her, choreographed by Tom Dixon, exquisite on her, and she came alive. You saw Brian Orser a moment ago has to be 
thrilled with the fact that she got through it, first of all, with the back injury, yes. and then brought them out of their seats. They're still standing up here, many of them. No, I felt sorry for her on the practices. This past week, she looked like she was in such pain. And tonight, she was just a breath of fresh air out there. Yu Na Kim from South Korea. And this was her opening triple-triple, which was absolutely gorgeous. Look how light she is in the air. Very tight turns. Nice flowing edge in between these triples. And just made it look very easy. Ryan Orser loved it. For good reason. One of the difficult ways, one of the things you have to do is have interesting moves that when she goes from a in a bower to sort of an inside spread eagle and then steps up into a double axle. That's tough. You know, uh, m most of the time you turn from an outside edge and that was just really, uh, I think, unusual and very nice to see. So Yuna Kim's effort here in the short program. Remember, <laughs> Kimmy Meisner's in second place right now behind Carolina Costner and she is standing by with Peter. Now looking more focused than she did earlier. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How about you, not Kim? If someone's tuning in tonight and seeing her for the first time, oh. you got to be impressed. Well, I think what's so incredible is that she's absolutely a Balanchine type skater. Long arms, long legs, truly elegant moves. You, you know, and this is a sophistication far belying a 16 year old. Guys, remember when we were talking about the 70 mark? Look at this. Uh, uh, 71.95. She can't believe what she oh just did. Oh my gosh. She did a wow factor in that sh short program. That's the best score ever by a, a lady in the short program. Beautiful. Sasha Cohen had the number. No more.